you. It's you. You spell doom. Damn this cursed raven. This is exactly what wasn't supposed to happen. I always bring bad luck for everyone. What now? Nuri! I have to go back. I have to get out of here. There's no way out. The gate is closed. Who is this? And the other gate is out of bounds. Oh, there's no other way. Everything but everything is prohibited. Who or what are you by fex? I'm a bringer of doom. Oh, I'm so ashamed. What? What are you talking about? I've caused harm to so many people, staring here and ogling there. But what else was I supposed to do as the Keeper of the Gate? You are the Keeper of the Fairy Gate? You almost killed us with your gaze. But I didn't want to do that. It's just that I'm so terribly nosy. I want so to see because everything looks so nice with all the light and the colours. This can't be true. What other gate? You mentioned another gate? A different gate, yes. But the way there is forbidden. Where is this gate? Tell me. It is... Uh, it is... in the dream chambers. But nobody except the Queen may enter them. She forbade it. Why has the Queen forbidden access to the other gate? No, no! I'm not saying anything more. Keep the eyes shut and it all stays dark. This cute little fuzzball almost killed us. But how could I be mad at the little critter? Let me be. The creature did indeed look through here out into the swamp, and everything it faced was turned into stone. However this might have worked once, I've destroyed it, I'm afraid. That's where I fell through? Whatever this is, it's not the way back. I'll have to find the portal in the dream chambers. Why is this well icy in this heat? Because it's winter, of course. Ah. Aren't you peculiar? It consists of pure light. It's whispering something. I think she's looking for her daughter. So many figures. Are those the lights of the dead? They whisper like ghosts. Hey! Anyone? Can somebody tell me how to get out of here? Lost? There's always a way. You! Where, who, who are you? What's your business here? Where do you come from? Talk. My name is... No, I'd better take you to the Queen immediately. Come along. No, I... Don't give me that. Get moving. Your Highness, my Queen. Free spirit reigning over... free spirits. I found this stranger in the Great Hall. I brought him... Immediately I brought him to your highness. For you alone know what to do. The boy with the night hair? It's all well, guard. He has done good. Night hair? 
Why are you calling me that? The Birdman anticipated the arrival of the Night Herd, but the All-Knowing did not reveal to us what fate the Young One would bring to Nirutvana. The Birdman. Silence. We did not allow him to speak. Hmm. Why did the Almighty Birdman look out for him? He might bring doom, but maybe he brings a new beginning too. What, pray tell, shall we do with him? Imprison him? Banish him? Have him killed? Or grant friendly hospitality? Until we're able to interpret the dreams of the Allwise? We allow him to speak. Please, Your Majesty, just let me go back to my own world. I have to save someone who... who means a lot to me. That is the fate of one single individual. Our decisions, on the other hand, determine the fate of a whole world. But she's a fairy like you are. A fairy? In your world? Whoever has left this world is not a fairy anymore. You cannot kill me. I don't have time for such things. Besides, I didn't do anything. I can, Night Hare, in order to prevent bad things from happening. He might bring bad luck to us. Bad luck. Doom. I can't listen to this anymore. I'm just trying to do the right thing all the time. He is disrespectful. Intent and outcome are not one and the same. He feels attacked. That makes him suspicious. We have to consider many things. Is his arrival good? Or is it bad? The decision has to be made wisely. He shall be allowed to live for now. Then let me go already, Your Majesty, back to my world. Impossible! The gate only leads into Nerutvana, never back. But the eye creature said there is a second portal in the dream chambers. Did it now? The Okulunculus has got some nerve, rarely controlling its curiosity. It betrays us with its loquaciousness. And he, Night Hare, dares to ask of the Forbidden Chambers? Your Majesty, I just want to... Silent he shall be. <clears throat> what shall happen with the Night Hare? My dreams are hazy. How shall I decide? An impossible task. Unless... Why not? He shall solve this problem for himself. Yes! Hear ye our decision. The challenge fate has imposed upon him shall be decided through three impossible tasks. If he can overcome them, we shall grant him access to the dream chambers. Impossible tasks? What does that... Silence! If it really is his fate to leave Nerutvana, he will be able to do the impossible. Fate never fails. Very well then. What tasks are those? The three tasks are, he shall bring us an apple from the garden. He shall build a life-size statue of us in all six colors of the rainbow, right here. He shall make the statue of the blind birdman look at us. As soon as all those tasks are met, he may access the dream chambers. He may now consider his fate. Hilda always let her puppies sleep in a basket like that. Empty. Three impossible tasks. Can't I just make a chestnut mannequin again? What good is a beehive in a forbidden garden? It's all withered. Where am I supposed to get an apple now? This well looks familiar. Some water games? But it's frozen. Behind it are the peacock and the waterfall. Where is this garden anyway?
He doesn't seem to draw much satisfaction from his honourable job. The big head over there, is that the bird man? It was a holy honour in our time. The weaver of fate had come to our world to reveal himself to us. The statue was built soon after his arrival. The queen had all other statues removed so that this would be the only one. At certain times, the head is even accessible. But at the moment, a painting is being finished inside. There's paint all over the place now. Where is the Birdman now? A few winters ago, he summoned his priests and had to leave our world with them. But our queen keeps interpreting the visions of the Birdman so that we can face a brilliant future. A few winters ago? Indeed. Tell me more about your god. The master of all fairies and all that exists. He is the master of fate. His benevolence is triggered by the untethered spirit. He is the ruler over space and form. Both all that exists and may yet come to be appeals to him. For freedom means anything can occur. A fairy told me that the birdman has colorful plumage and that his flute playing fills hearts with longing for faraway places. In that case, she is a heretic. Is there another way to the Dream Chambers? Another way apart from the one past the Queen? Only she has the key for the plinth of the path to the Dream Chambers. And now be quiet, or we might get taken to the end of the mist. What is the end of the mist? The place where they are banished, my friends, my brothers. If they ignore new laws the Queen passes, death is mercy. But the end of the mist is judgment. What are the new laws your queen has passed? Laws that save us from the eternal night. They have been whispered into seashells and distributed through all of Narutvina. Why did the queen pass new laws? So that the dark future the birdman revealed to us won't come true. Our wise queen has passed laws that ensure the safety and purity of our realm. And going against those laws is punishable either by death or by banishment. What exactly is in the Dream Chambers? The Weaver of Dreams. Her music helps us fairies lead a free life. Free of what? Of sorrow and fears. The Queen alone may visit the Weaver of Dreams nowadays. What visions are you talking about? They warn us of the future. The Birdman gave them to us, together with the playing of the harp. The harp? Silence! I've said too much already. You said the statue's head is sometimes accessible. Yes, but like I said, there is painting being undertaken at the moment. Respect the laws. It's frozen to the well, yet it's not even cold here. A seashell. Where's the sea that should accompany it? The seashell is whispering something. From now on, game and dance, music and magic will be banned throughout the realm. The pictures in the gallery may never again be touched, and the garden is off-limits to all as well. Possession of raisins is forbidden. Doves that died of thirst do not a tasty meal make for anyone in their right mind. Anyone who disobeys the laws will be banished to the end of the mist. A white turkey with big ears and no eyes. Well... Hello. Can you talk? What? I've never heard this voice here before. My name is Geron. I haven't been here for long. Not for long, eh? In that case, you are forgiven. Of course I can talk. I am a peacock. The clock peacock, to be precise. Pavarius is my name. So you are the one calling out the hours? No. My magnificent plumage denotes them. I see. Yes. Did you want anything in particular? You have magnificent plumage. 
haven't I? That's what my friend the Oculunculus always said too. The eye creature? Yes, we used to be friends, but he hasn't visited me since his last birthday. How long ago was the birthday of your eye creature friend? Oh, quite a while, but it was a beautiful celebration. He always said, you need three things for a good birthday celebration. First, players who provide music with their shiny flutes and glittering harps. Second, well, uh, what was it now? Hmm, I forgot the other two. But all that is a thing of the past anyway. The seashells of law forbid it. Although Oculunculus really loved festivities. Don't you have any eyes? Not anymore. I lost them during my training. Well, we all have to make sacrifices in our time, but especially for time itself. Don't you miss your eyes? No, I still have ears. So you always know what time it is. And how do you do that? I get my bearings from the wind, of course. The wind always blows from the direction of the sun. Like everyone knows, it rises in the west in the winter and the east in summer. How exactly can you distinguish where the wind is blowing from? Hmm. Well, it would seem like a mystery to someone who didn't undergo the training, wouldn't it? I can tell by the way the hermit sighs. Who? He's sitting right above us. You'll know him by his big nose. How can you tell if it's summer or winter? Do you count the days? That wouldn't help much. Summer and winter alternate in a very uneven pattern. No, I get my orientation from the water. If I can hear it flowing, it must be summer. Do you always have to stay awake as Clock Peacock? Oh, not at all. I take some rest during winter time in the hour around midnight. Why does the hermit sigh all the time? <laughs> the wind doesn't bring any good sense anymore. That's disappointing. But basically for the better, he got distracted too easily. Wherever there was a nice scent, he had to turn his nose to it. That messed up time quite a bit. I better not keep you any longer. The weather vane is a crab with a giant nose. Good. Now nothing can shock me anymore. And who are you? <laughs> Looks like this creature cannot speak. Thank the gods for that. South. Stop in, dream wanderer. There's a little keyhole underneath. This must be the entrance to the dream chambers. But there's no door around here anywhere. This ring he has around his neck. That's the ring from my dream. Does that mean the seer was in this world too? And why do the fairies pray to him? Has he usurped the position of their god? It's sunset. Why must everything always be out of reach? is in the eye of the beholder. Hmm. This isn't a painting at all, but a ledge. I wonder what that is for. Just like a real garden. So that's what a bad luck charm looks like. They were right. Undergast will perish and Nuri will die. And all because I didn't tell her the truth. Can you help me, Mirror? 
Fairy mirrors could always speak in Gwynling stories. The statue of an imp or a victim of the eye creature. The horns are made of wood as opposed to the rest of the statue. You have ugly ears. No, this one doesn't talk. Those are the pieces of a broken bow. Misusing weaponry for art. That's an idea only a fairy would have. Misusing weaponry for art. That's an idea only a fairy would have. As if a cord could stop me. As if a cord could stop me. Is this supposed to be art as well? Empty. This must be a fairy's idea of a lamp. This must be a fairy's idea of a lamp. Keep your fingers off the magic stone, said the toad. What the? That's absurd. Without this color stone, the painting doesn't have any color. Fairies. I'm sure the fairies could make the fish heads of Nostria their friends with this statue. I wonder how the reception of the Queen of Nostria went in Undergast. Did someone finally manage to drive the magic crows from the Queen's guest chambers? I'll do the same to the raven, right after I have him stuffed. A stairway or a rainbow or both? Red, yellow, green, blue, purple. Those are the rainbow colors. No, orange is missing. This is completely crazy, but a good bird catcher adapts to the circumstances. This is completely crazy, but a good bird catcher adapts to the circumstances. I knew it, the most magnificent apple tree, and it only holds one single apple. A bit too big for an arrow. I don't think so. And golden honey flows from the well. At least the golden part was right in the stories. The water is flowing in the wrong direction. Strange. Is the abyss beneath me? Or is it just a basin down there?
Strange. The basin up there. Is that basin over there at the same time? This is puzzling. No time to take a bath. Now it's as small as an arrow. Finally, the target practice with Gwynling is paying off. Out of reach. Out of reach. Here we go then. Fex be with me. Sure, I've been breaking some law. It's a facsimile of the Queen, but it's neither life sized nor rainbow colored. What. what would happen if you opened your eye? No, never. As soon as I see my ogle scope, everything will start all over again. Your ogle scope? Is that the contraption over there? It was a birthday present from the Queen. Mum didn't want me to have it. Now she's gone. It says on the ogle scope, whoever stares with all their curiosity's might will have the beholden petrified. And I'm extremely curious. Time runs so fast in the other world. There's so many things happening. But now I've had enough. What do you want to do now? Nothing. I just want to find a place where I can spend eternity in shame and grief. But how can I find it with my eye closed? Oh. I know a place for you. A place where I can stay? Yes, follow me. No, wait. What's it like? It's dark there. How dark, exactly? It's as dark as an empty eye socket. Wow, that's dark. All light would be for naught. Exactly. Now, follow me. But what then? What am I going to do there the whole time? You can spend all eternity in shame and grief like you want. Yes. But now that the time is right, I'm getting nervous about it. You don't have to be scared. You can spend your time differently there if you want to. Oh, yeah? You can sleep and dream. Dream? Forevermore? 
And what am I supposed to dream of? Perhaps you'll dream of your birthday. And presents too? Loads of presents. Yay! Sounds like my kind of dream. Please, take me there. Let's go. The original peacock is taking his midday nap. He didn't even notice. Why do the fairies need paint if they can command magic? They're probably not allowed to use magic. Ruins, dead forests, dried up lakes. Nuri's world is completely decayed. The right eye is as blind as the left one. I can look straight into the Queen's chambers from here. A little gooey, but it's orange at least. Oh, this is cozy. I'll stay here and now I'll dream of my or of how can a person fall asleep that fast he's asleep tiny little eye open up the eye mm, no 
Uh, I... Didn't you remember my birthday? Look here, your birthday celebration. Congratulations. Tell me about my celebration. Hmm. There are players. Their flutes are shiny and the harps glitter in the light. Yay! Such bright music. All the guests are dancing at your feast. They laugh and dance so that their faces light up very bright. That's beautiful. There's a big raisin cake. It looks like a giant molehill with buttercrumbs. Wow, so big. I love raisins. I'd love to see all that. So why don't you open your eye? Your birthday's waiting for you. Yes. I can't miss so much light and buttercrumbs. Yes. So where is my celebration? But wow, this sight, all this light. How could I ever leave without that forevermore? I'll never close my eyes again, ever. Well, thank Fex for that. Red, yellow, green, those are no oranges. Red, yellow, those no orange. Now I have a rainbow-colored light figurine, but it's not even close to being life-sized. Rainbow colored and life sized. Well, there we go. Your Majesty. Has he fulfilled the tasks? Your Majesty, I have the apple for you. Indeed, Night Hare. This task seems to be fulfilled. Your rainbow statue is finished. Oh, how magnificent, Night Hare. He has mastered the task well. What kind of ring is this around the statue's neck? It's a present from the priests to the All-Wise. This ring was supposed to fill his priests with his spirit to enlighten them. Where are the priests now? When the birdman left near Rutvena, they went with him. 
The Birdman. Does he look like a big black bird? No, but a big night bird was with him when he revealed himself to us. Why is the night herd asking? Oh, nothing important. Look out the window. Isn't the blind bird man looking at you? He is indeed. We do not know how. The young one has achieved all these tasks. Thus, he has done the impossible thrice. Fate doesn't seem to question him. May he take the key to the dream chambers now. And may he leave our realm, if he so wishes. Many thanks, Your Majesty. And leave our realm if he can. What was that supposed to mean? 